With the definition part of your slide done, now you want to take a look at your synonyms and antonyms. So let's go back to the tab where we were looking up the definition. Now if you see, besides dictionary.com, there's also thesaurus.com. Thesaurus.com we can use to find synonyms and antonyms. So I'm going to click for thesaurus.com. I'm going to type in my same word, benevolent. and search. Now just a guideline to using thesaurus.com. It gave you a definition up here in the top. Uh, def synonyms that are closer to the words are going to be in the orange color. So pick a synonym that you know. If it's not in your background knowledge, you may not even know how to pronounce this word here. It's pronounced benign, but if you've never seen it before and you don't know what it means, it's not going to help you link it to a synonym that you know. So there's the word caring for a synonym. And for an antonym, we have cruel or mean. Remember, synonyms mean the same, antonyms mean the opposite. So now I'm going to tab back to my slide. I'm going to highlight the text for the synonym. I'm going to write caring, going over to antonym. I'm going to type the word cruel. And my synonym and antonym part of my slide is almost done.